Um, Malik and I, we weren't allowed to film it, unfortunately, but we went to one of the um, uh, main anti-gay pastors' um, Sunday services. Um, and in some ways, it was like religion at its absolute best. You know, it's kids running around, it's beautiful song and dance, and there's flowers everywhere, and people are so happy and jubilant, and there's, you know, just this sense of great family and community. You know, and then the pastor would get on stage and just spout this hatred, um, you know, that was not only, it's one thing to have a misreading of the Bible, you know, that's um, arguably a little bit more subjective, but when you're also just um, telling the people this just blatant misinformation, like I was just talking about, that they're all drug addicts, that they're mm -hmm. all, um, you know, exchanging money for members of the gay team, and this kind of stuff, it's just, it's uh, very painful to witness. Yeah, and so David felt like he needed to be really out, right, and put himself out there um, to yeah. push. He's just one of those people that we see across history pushing the the edge. Yeah, right? there was um, very little hesitation in him. To all, all, sometimes some would argue to a fault. He just was absolutely relentless with his um, activism, um, and you know, some would argue paid the ultimate price for it. But um, I think he also. Um, in so doing, you know, that kind of attitude, I think, really rubbed off on people and really gave them a lot of um, confidence in terms of going forward with the movement. Yeah, and there was one guy, uh, Long Jones, yeah. who has been touring with your film yeah. um, and uh, was part of David's group. Yes, um, and more so, actually, even, um, you know, he was, he's one of the people who, when we first met him, was a little bit less, he's a travel agent also, and he was more focused on hit running his business and stuff than really the activism. Um, but I think he just, um, especially in the wake of, of David's death, just really felt like um, you know it was his calling and he, he needed to be paying attention to that. And so he has stepped up um, more and more uh, as an activist. Well, he also felt targeted, right? Yeah, he was, you know, very so many of them have been direct, um, directly targeted through the way that the Uganda newspapers have been outed, outing members of the community, printing their photos, um, you know, with um, captions that say, hang them, you see there, you hang them, this, all this kind of horrible stuff, printing their addresses, their places of work, their nicknames, all this kind of stuff. Um, so I think, they, some of them it's just sort of had no choice. committed murders. Yeah. Oh, oh and then worse. not only that, yeah, totally worse. Because in the next, um, the next kind of ver uh, edition of this newspaper, they were, there was a terrible terrorist bombing in Kampala, um, which, of course, this newspaper blamed on the LGBT the community, gays. which is just yeah. complete nonsense. I of mean, course. absolute, total nonsense. <laughs> right. It couldn't possibly be anywhere near true. But, um, you know, the headline is a, is a powerful thing, especially the way that the newspapers... Um, are placed in the public in Uganda because they're all stapled shut, so you can't even really read the news, the article, because people mostly don't have money for it. So they just um, the stand on the headlines, sit there, and read all the headlines, and then that's their news for the day. So all that they know about the gay community is that their homo generals plot terrorist attack or whatever the headline read. Right. Um, so it's pretty damaging. Do you have a dialogue with homosexuals and see how you can help them? You have out? seen them and counseled them. I have spoken with a lot of them. Mm. Yeah, and they have their grievances. About so you. preach to them and change to them, but not support them. <laughs> change them. Hmm? Uh, it's not my role. Ah, it is your role. Mm -hmm. hmm? Bring... Instead, they may defend the minority. So because uh, they, they also exist. Ah, uh, uh, minority is right. It may be you may right, but if what they're doing is evil, we shouldn't it's support not evil. them.